Shoppers today are pretty jaded, sometimes. Late modern citizenship and consumption can be fatiguing. Still, today witnesses a dizzying emergence of energetic, socially-minded businesses. The proliferation of such companies suggests that shoppers find them energizing and they invest impressive enthusiasm in socially oriented commerce, especially in the so-called buy one, give one company. How do social enterprises do it? How do they evoke and sustain so much shopperly mojo? I address this question with a case study of the Tom's Company, the conspicuously successful pioneer of the buy one, give one mode of social enterprise. Shoppers get pretty excited about Tom's on social media. And social media analytics like social mention and Google Trends offer further evidence that Tom's generates shopperly excitement. There are three common explanations for how companies like Tom's evoke such consumer enthusiasm. First of all, the business guru might say that Tom's has an ingeniously simple model. Distracted shoppers can grasp it at a glance. Secondly, the rhetorical analyst might say that Tom's CEO, Blake Mykoski, is a great storyteller. He's able to entertain his audiences. Number three, the ideological critic might say that social enterprise deceives shoppers and persuades them into a kind of slacktivism. These suggestions do not explain the excessive, enthusiastic investment of the consumers. They critique the rhetoric of Tom's model but they miss the rhetoric of Tom's mode. In this essay, I examine the metonymic tropes of the Tom's company discourse, especially in their buy one, give one mode. I hope you'll check out this essay, not only as an experiment in modal analysis, but also as a way to find a critical feel for rhetorical intervention in social predicaments.